Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be talking about my rather ambitious December TBR. I don't know what's going on, I feel like everyone's caught the bug at the end of the year realising that they've got maybe a few too many books to get through to reach their Goodreads goal for 2022 and we're all sticking a crap ton of books on our TBRs to try and make it and that's exactly what I've done. I think I've got 10 books left to read to reach my goal of 100 books for 2022. So I've put I've got eight books on this December TBR which when you think about it I've been averaging about six books a month for the last few months so it is pretty ambitious but I am determined to try and reach my goal so I will hopefully be reading these books on my TBR as well as another couple that I will throw in along the way. I always allow myself to do a little bit of mood reading as well. I have thrown a few mangas in here cheekily to try and get me up to my goal. I've got some dystopian, some fantasy, all books that I am hugely excited to read. So without further ado, if you would like to hear all about the books on my December TBR, then just keep watching. So the first book will probably come as no surprise to anyone who follows my Instagram because I have been talking about this series constantly over the last couple of weeks because I have been racing through the books. The one on my December TBR is The Mask Falling by Samantha Shannon, which is the fourth book in the Bone Season series and it is the last book that is currently out. We are waiting on three more I believe. I've been racing through the first three books and the two novellas over the last couple of weeks. As I am filming this I am currently reading The Song Rising which is the third book and then there is a novella that is 3.5 called The Dawn Chorus but I hope to have read both of those by the time we hit December. So fingers crossed the only one from that series on my December TBR will be The Mask Falling. But if you do not know anything about the bone season in this we basically follow a girl called Paige Mahal. Mahoney who is a clairvoyant in a world where clairvoyancy is illegal. The clairvoyants have been forced underground into this underbelly syndicate in London where they must commit crimes in order to survive and it's very like gang slash mob vibes to begin with and we're following Paige at the beginning of the bone season and then within the first few chapters she is captured by Sion the government who are trying to eradicate all clairvoyants in this world and when she makes up her whole world changes and that's all I'm gonna say but literally from chapter two of the bone season I was enthralled and I've not been able to stop reading them since so I'm really excited to get to the fourth installment but I'm also terrified because now I'm gonna have to wait along with everyone else for the next book and it's probably not gonna come out until like 2024 and I feel like I should have thought this through because I don't know if I can wait that long for the next book but we shall see looking forward to reading this nonetheless next up I have a couple of dystopians that I'm actually hoping to do a reading vlog for we're kind of screwed wrapping the weekly reading vlogs for now we're going to try and do some more sort of themed ones for a little bit so one of the ones on my list is a little dystopian reading vlog and the first book I have for that is Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Bastarica. I have heard so many good things about this book I know it is incredibly dark incredibly difficult to read but it sounds like such an interesting one as well I have been all about the dystopian vibes recently so this is definitely going to fit into my current mood so in this one we are basically in a world where humans are slaughtered for for meat and obviously eating as if that's completely normal and I think in this one we are following Marcos who is like one of the people slaughtering these humans and he then finds a specimen of the finest quality and leaves her tied up in an outhouse, a problem to be disposed of later. She haunts him, her trembling body and watchful gaze seem to understand, and soon he becomes tortured by what has been lost and what might still be saved. This sounds so twisted but so interesting. I'm assuming it's going to be like a world where they think these humans that they are slaughtered in are like lesser or not as intelligent and that's how everyone understands it and then this one makes him think otherwise. I don't know, but yeah, it sounds really compelling, really dark, you know I like my dark twisted reads, so think crossed I'm going to enjoy this one. The other dystopian I want to read for that vlog is The School for Good Mothers by Jessamine Chan. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this one other than Christy and as soon as she mentioned it I literally ran to Amazon to order it because it sounds so interesting. In this one we are following a world where if society deems a mother unfit or to be not a good mother they will take their child off them and then they are sent to a school to be retrained 
to learn how to be a good mother. I think in this one we're following one character who that happens to where she leaves her child maybe to like head back to the office to go grab something and when she comes back her child is gone. And it says soon mothers everywhere will be re-educated because bad mothers must learn to be good. It just sounds so creepy again and like twisted but really really interesting. I feel like it's one I'm going to fly through. It's got so many amazing reviews and comments. Like on the back it says repeat after me I am a bad mother but I am learning to be good. Like it honestly just makes my skin crawl the idea of this but I think it's going to be such an interesting read and yeah cannot wait to get to it. Next up I have three volumes of a very popular manga and that is Tokyo Ghoul. I have the first three volumes here, I'm not actually taking the stickers off them yet, but I got the first three volumes in Forbidden Planet when I was in London with the Fae team and for some reason I have not picked them up yet but I am dying to do so. I feel like I will race through these and then I'll need to go and buy the next however many volumes. I'm not actually sure how many there are but I feel like there's quite a few. Again I may do a reading vlog for these, I'm not entirely sure. We shall see. So in this one I believe we are following a world in Tokyo where there are ghouls who seem the same, seem normal, seem just like any other human except the fact that they crave human flesh. And then I think in the first one we follow Ken Kaneki who is turned into the first half human half ghoul hybrid and he must survive ghoul turf wars, learn more about ghoul society and master his new powers. I have said recently that I'm really looking to get into manga, like really expand my collection and Tokyo Ghoul is one that people just recommend left, right and centre so I'm really hoping to love these and also nice and quick will help me get through that Goodreads goal. The next book I have is one that I honestly didn't think when it first came out I would ever read but since I've come back into my fantasy era this is now one that is a huge priority like right at the top of my TBR so I've heard such amazing things about it and that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. Like I said, now that I am loving fantasy again, I just feel like this is going to be one that I absolutely adore. I've heard so many people give it five stars, so many people say it's their favourite book of all time. And I also need to read the first one before I can read the second one, because the second one is now out. So in this one, we follow six magicians who are invited by Atlas Blakely to apply for the Alexandrian Society. And I think... In order to get into this they have to like complete different trials and things and we've all these six different magicians all who have different powers but these six magicians are competing for five places. They must study and innovate within esoteric subject areas and if they can prove themselves over the course of a year they'll survive, most of them. I've heard this one is just absolutely beautifully written, it's very fast paced, it's very high stakes, I feel like it's gonna be one that I am just like turning page after page, cannot put down and I'm really interested to find out about this world, these different types of magic and this Alexander Alexandrian society. I love anything with like a creepy dark society and what that can usually bring. So yeah looking forward to learning about all the different characters in this and this world and I'm really hoping to love it just as much as everyone else seems to. And finally the last book on my December TBR is A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. I know what you're thinking, this probably should have been read in October or at the very latest November but alas that did not happen so we are going to read it in December. We are. This one is a retelling, a reimagining of Dracula in which we follow one of his wives Constanta who realises that her lover her husband Dracula is capable of some very dark and horrible things and finding comfort in the arms of her rival consorts she begins to unravel their husband's dark secrets. With the lives of everyone she loves on the line Constanta will have to choose between her own freedom and her love for her husband but bonds forged by blood can only be broken by death. It's a sensational novel and a darkly seductive tale of Dracula. Dracula's first bride. Like darkly seductive. That just draws me right in. Again I've heard amazing things about the writing of this one. I feel like it's gonna be one that just sucks me into this world. I love anything gothic, anything to do with vampires and this one just sounds like such a sexy gothic tale so yeah cannot wait to get to that. So that is it for my December TBR. Like I said I think I have eight eight books on my December TBR but I am hoping to read 10 to reach my goal of 100 books in 2022. I am really really excited for all these books though. Please do let me know if you would like to see reading vlogs for any of these books in particular whether they be like a themed one or or a vlog dedicated to that one book. So I'm just gonna be sort of like flitting around the different types of vlogs for a little while and seeing what I like best and what is easiest to do while working a full-time job. Please do let me know what is on your December TBR, what your priorities are, let me know how far away you are from your 
your Goodreads go? I would love to know. If you made it to the end of this video, pop a Christmassy emoji down below because I realised that none of these books are in any way, shape or form Christmassy, which is not great on a Zebra TBR, so we need some Christmas vibes up in here. Pop a Christmassy emoji down below just to let me know that you made it to the end of this video and that you enjoyed your time here. But as always, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more bookish content from me, comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings. I do reply to every single comment. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.